Smurf! Run, Bubba Smurf! There was a terrible accident! Run! Ah! Oh, that brainy Smurf! What now? <laughs> That didn't look good. Anyway, on the table today we have a Jurassic World small-sized T-Rex action figure. Going backwards, here is the Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex Bashers and Biters version. If you think the box design looks a little familiar, it does. It's open box design and it resembles the DreamWorks at Dragon's boxes quite a bit, but it is a much smaller toy. You can see the DreamWorks Dragon box takes up almost the full screen here. It uh, looks like the Grump has escaped, and back to the T-Rex here, pretty small. He's almost the scale of a Velociraptor toy I had years ago. I typically would rather have a T-Rex bigger, but it's kind of fun to have this size as well. On the back of the box we have a little image of the Chomping Jaws T-Rex with a quick bio, a ferocious fight for survival if that's anything under Tyrannosaurus Rex, and some fine print, so it's all about the toy and playing with the toy on this thing. So out of the package we have the T-Rex looking quite miniaturized. It's kind of fun to have a small T-Rex toy though, usually the T-Rex is big big guy, so a little different going on here. It looks to have pretty good likeliness going on there. Uh, the head might feel a little larger, uh, maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, haven't studied my paleontology in a while. He's got that great Jurassic Park a dino damage though, always like how they include that, and a Jurassic World tattoo on his upper leg there. Very classic. Looks like for articulation, we've got his back legs on a rotation point there. I was surprised to see there is some rotation on his little tiny arms. And that's pretty much it. Uh, then we've got an action feature too, and it is the tail uh, chomping thing. At first I thought it was broken, I was trying to place him in the box to test it out, and I was moving it up and down, and it moves his head up and down. It's like, uh oh, it doesn't chomp, but you gotta do side to side to get that to work. Let's try to get a better angle of that. So it kind of rotates its head. Kind of feels a little lifelike as there's a little bit of uh, joints or uh, seams in that neck uh, a piece attachment. Kind of a bummer, one side you can see a bunch of screws. They didn't really try to cover that up so you've got kind of the mechanical side the uh, actual Disneyland type of dinosaur. And then on this side, you have the Jurassic World type of dinosaur covered up and a little more lifelike. But a fun little toy. I think this is going to run you about 10 bucks. So that's, you know, gives you an action figure uh, type of price. I think the only thing this toy might kind of miss, be missing and, and be a little more fun, is if it came with, say, a little Jurassic World car of sorts or some sort of theme park-like thing for him to attack and eat. I think that's kind of really missing in this toy. But other than that, pretty fun little dude. So you're still unsure of the scale? Well, he's almost the same size as a Dragon Rider's Toothless when you think about it. Uh, they're pretty much the same in length and plastic usage but definitely a little smaller when comparing him up to just say a Defenders of Burke Stormfly. It's kind of funny after doing all these uh, dragon reviews in the past year or so, looking at a dragon up against a dinosaur is simply weird. Where's your wings, T-Rex? Hmm. Bow it, Smurf. Please put it into the Smurf history annuals. No Smurf shall ever clone dinosaurs again. How's that, Brainy? Papa Smurf always says not to clone dinosaurs. Oh my god! I thought we killed it! Oh, run for it, Smurfs!
and that is the Jurassic World Bashers and Biters Miniature T-Rex toy. Pretty fun dinosaur when you just start mixing it with some other toys. Keep an eye out for it soon on store shelves. That's what I have to say about that. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. I think we're safe inside here. Don't open that. I have to, it's the Smurf thing to do. Who is it? Oh, wow.